Hi, amazing human beings. I hope everyone is doing awesome. I am here with Ethan today. Hi. Ethan wants to say hi. And the reason why he's filming with me today is last year, right, in 2020, we talked about different winter traditions or holidays that are celebrated by different people around the world. Well, it just so happened to be that today is Three Kings Day, and we celebrate a holiday that we celebrate here. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about it. And Three Kings is celebrating a lot of different Latin countries. Um, and basically, what Ethan has done, you want to show me your box, Ethan? A lot of mm -hmm. times, children will grab like a shoe box or some type of box, and they will, it's his little Converse box, they'll put little grass in there or hay, and they leave it at the foot or like under their bed. And what happens is, what's set to happen is that the three kings come and the camels eat the grass and they leave gifts for the children. So, and they'll leave it like at the foot of your bed or underneath your bed. So Ethan's very excited for that to happen because that's all, that all is going to be happening. So we created this box we're filming today, which is the day before Three Kings Day. You guys will see the video tomorrow, which is today for you, which is Three Kings Day. So we're going to put this under the bed. And we're going to see what happens. So we're going to share a story with everyone right now. And Ethan, really quick, before I share the story, what is that there are three kings and the three kings leave three gifts. What are the three gifts that they leave? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We're going to hear about that in the story. So let's share the story. And make my screen large. And I'm gonna have the, uh, I usually read the books here, but I'm gonna have them read it too, because like, there's some great music in the background. The story of the three kings. Long ago in the East, in lands far from one another, there lived three kings, Melchior of Arabia, Gaspar of Tarsus, and Balthazar of Saba. These wise men studied the stars. Each night they looked at the sky and wrote down where the stars were, where they had come from, and where they were going. One night a star they had never seen before appeared in the sky. Each of the kings consulted his books and found that this new star was the sign that a great king was about to be born. So each king, not knowing about the others, set out to follow the star, to find the child king, and to honor him. And each carried with him a gift. Melchior took gold, Gaspar frankincense, and Balthazar myrrh. After many days and nights, the three wise kings met. They found that they were all following the same star, so they continued their journey together. But as they came near to Jerusalem, they lost sight of the star, and they did not know which way to go. Let us ask at the palace of King Herod, one of them said. Surely Herod will know of the birth of another great king. Where is he that has been born to be king of the Jews, they asked. We have seen his star in the east, and we have come to honor him. Now Herod, who was an evil man, was disturbed when he heard this. He wished to be the only king in that land. He went to his chief priests and learned men and asked them where this child would be born. It has been written at Bethlehem in Judah, they told him. Herod sent for the three kings. Go to Bethlehem and find out all about the child king, he said. And when you have found him, come back and tell me so I may worship him too. The three wise kings set out for Bethlehem, not knowing that Herod wanted to destroy the newborn baby. And there in the sky, once again, was the star. They followed it until it stopped over the place where the child was born. Like a flame of fire, that star pointed out God, the King of Kings. And going into the place, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and falling down on their knees, they honored him. Then they opened their treasures and offered the gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. That night, as the king slept, they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, for he wished to destroy the child. So the three kings, to keep Herod from finding the child, returned to their countries by a different way. 
and that's the story of the three kings. So that is the story of the three kings. So now you have an idea of what that cultural or that, that tradition is, okay? So we'll definitely keep you posted on how that looks, that looks for Ethan when he, well, when he gets his visit and get, receives some gifts by his bed or under his bed. So we are excited to be here with you. We hope you have a super amazing and powerful day. Make sure you are intentional about making good choices, about being kind, about listening to your teacher, about getting your work done, and make sure that that's really what you have in your heart. Have a great, great day. Say bye, bye. Ethan. Bye.